What's up guys, Spider here. We got Exo Zombies Infection. The trailer just dropped. I'm excited to play this map this coming Tuesday, but let's check out the trailer and then we'll talk about a few things. There's not much, but we'll talk about it. All right, check out the trailer first though, right here. Lilith shot her first gun that day. Jam! Heads up! Khan got his hands dirty for the first time in his life. And Decker enjoyed it all a little too damn much. We should have died right then and there. We were lucky. Hello, welcome to Burger Town. But our luck was running out. Finally, got the good gear. Help me! They're everywhere! Get to the Warbird. This is Eagle One. Survivor's waiting for his escort. Happen, they excel at fucking shit up. That's Goliath class armor. Oh man. That can't be good. Well, guys, what do you think? I think it looks pretty epic. I can't wait. Like I said, Tuesday, we'll be live streaming over on twitch.tv slash nextgentactics, probably around 4.30 a.m. Tuesday morning. That's Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys? So I wanted to replay the beginning of the trailer because it tells the story of, okay, how do we get from our initial Atlas facility in Outbreak? How do we get to this new area, this new testing area where the burger town is located it's in you know some secluded small town it looks like or i would think that this entire area is atlas controlled and it's another controlled experiment that they're going to be uh you know bringing us into here right so we get saved from the original atlas facility i mean we got overrun but these guys come in and save us we get transported out we get we're on these trucks um it's like we're almost in stasis they keep they kept us under they didn't awake us and they're just gonna dump us off here in this burger town location so that's where we're starting off and i'm sure when they get up they're like how the heck did we end up here man what's up all right so let's take a look at some images i pulled from the trailer uh this first one that keypad looks like it's locked maybe that's something that we have to activate maybe that's uh required you know we gotta find a code somewhere it looks like it's a 10 digit uh keypad so we gotta find a code maybe that's part of the easter egg for activating bubby in infection as we saw for the uh, meat is murder achievement Next up are the exosuits. Uh, we definitely don't start off with exosuits. I mean, the exosuits in advanced warfare is like finding power in uh, Black Ops and Black Ops 2 zombies and, and even going back as, as far as World at War. So, yeah, we basically got to find our way to the exosuits and then we'll be able to use all the abilities and get our additional exo perks, right? So if you remember from the trailer for the DLC, uh, we saw this guy being lifted up into the chopper. Well, that's that's this guy. I mean, that's part of, uh, um, we talked about it in the um, the achievements where you have to save some of these guys. So apparently they get airlifted out. I mean, we can't get airlifted out, but apparently these guys can get airlifted out. So that's the guy. That's probably the guy that was tweeting the other night on, uh, on Call of Duty's uh, Twitter account, right? 
Just a little bit more info on the MWG, which is a new weapon, and it's kind of like, isn't it kind of like almost exactly the same as the wave gun? Was it the wave gun um, that uh, on Moon that actually sort of microwaved the zombies and they they sort of blew up and and then exploded? And that's where that guy with the the red things that sort of grow out of him, um, that's what the microwave gun is doing to him. You shoot him, he grows these red things out of him, and then he eventually explodes. So kind of, you know, pretty similar to that wave gun, right? Next up, we got some new traps. So the uh, the alligators, right? That we saw, and I didn't see it. Um, it was like for one or two frames in the, in the the teaser or the trailer for the uh, DLC pack. But uh, and I thought about it afterwards. I thought it might actually be a trap, and it looks like it is because this was shown right after they said, "Hey, all new traps!" Right? So we've got this this trap area that we can lead the zombies into, um, where the alligators just swallow them up. But that's pretty epic. We got a second new trap here. It looks like it's some sort of a laser turret uh, or set of laser turrets. I'm not sure how many more there are across the map, but uh, basically targeting onto those uh, those pesky zombies. And then we've got a blue light laser as well. So I didn't really get to see exactly what both of them were doing, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be wasting some zombies. And then this uh, one last trap, it looks like it's some sort of ground activated thing. Uh, I don't know, you got these, uh, it's like electricity of some sort that's traveling across the ground and is finding the zombies and electrifying them and electrocuting them. So that's kind of an interesting one. I, I want to see that one in action. Uh, well, I'd like to see them all in action, but the alligators are going to be pretty cool. But that one that one right there with the uh, the electric field is going to be pretty awesome, it seems, as well. Now, this thing I thought was kind of weird. See right underneath the, the zombies' legs, we have a zero dot, one dot, two dot, I believe three dot. There is another image that um, that you see later on in the trailer, but this was the best one I thought. And usually, again, stuff that lights up blue like that is sort of Atlas related. So I don't know if that's tracking progress. I, you know, step one, step zero, step one, step two. I don't know. It just kind of stood out to me. It might be nothing. Um, but usually, like I said, the blue indicators are something Atlas related. So I'm, I'm just that's just something that I'm going to keep an eye out for once the um, the DLC and the map actually drop and we start playing it. There was a uh, section during the trailer for all new zombies. So we got this guy. He's got some, uh, I don't know, some hardcore armor on. Uh, looks like a guy out of right out of Tron, doesn't it? <laughs> we got the Tron zombie. Um, and it seems like he does take quite a bit of damage. This uh, next guy is uh, is like an acidic zombie. He's acidic, and um, they also mentioned in the trailer, you know, look out for the pools of acid that are on the ground. So I don't know if it's uh, something where you kill him and he just, you know, basically explodes and he creates a pool of acid that you then have to avoid. Kind of reminds me a bit of uh, the Destiny guys in the first raid, doesn't it? This is another zombie that we saw in uh, the original trailer, or and uh, also I think they uh, tweeted out some images. He's got spikes on him, so uh, you probably don't want to get too close to him. You know, not only is he going to hit you, but uh, you're going to probably take some damage from his spikes. Under new allies, we have this gunship, man. This guy comes in, and he just lays waste to a bunch of zombies, and uh, I don't know if it's something we call in. Um, I, I don't think... I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's part of the Easter egg. I mean, we obviously aren't going to escape, I wouldn't think. But uh, I don't know. It looks like we're, we're going to get some help one way or the other, man. This guy's going to come in and uh, help us waste some zombies. And uh, last but not least, we have the Goliath armored zombie. Uh, this guy just, you know, he, he comes in on, on like a rocket pack. Uh, he's got a jet pack on his back. And he's basically landing in the map. So I don't know where he comes from, what are his origins, and uh, how often we see him. And here's actually a better image of those numbers. Now, um, I don't know. Maybe it indicates what generators you have powered or something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Like I said, maybe it, it could be absolutely nothing. But I thought I pointed out. So that's it, guys. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, I went through the trailer. I'm sure there's something that I missed. There always is. But... Um, you know, for the most part, I think we covered it and not a whole lot new. Can't wait till Tuesday. Remember, guys, live stream twitch.tv slash next gen tactics. And we'll be keeping you up to date as we progress here on YouTube and GT Zombies. So can't wait, guys. Stay tuned. Let us know what you think about the trailer and we will see you Tuesday. Yeah, spider out.